My name is Ashley Spiegel. I'm a physical therapist and clinical director at the Breathing Center of Houston Bel Air location. And today I wanna to share with you some exercises to increase flexibility and mobility. Um, so flexibility is a super important but often neglected component to any exercise program. And particularly with patients with lung disease, um, flexibility can improve your breathing, it can improve your balance, as well as strength and muscular endurance. Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate a few of my go-to flexibility exercises. All right, so specifically for patients with lung disease, here in our clinic, we start every therapy session doing five different dynamic stretches to improve the mobility of the chest wall. So we're gonna start real simple. These can be done sitting or standing, um, and we're gonna start with shoulder rolls. So all you're gonna do is loop those shoulders up towards your ears, and then exhale as you drop the shoulders down. So it's important to time your breath with the movement. So inhale on the way up, and then exhale through your mouth on the way down. Good, let's do two more. We typically do five reps of every stretch that I'm about to show you. All right, next up, this stretch is overhead reaching. So if you don't have any shoulder problems, feel free to go for it as far as you can. But if anything is irritating, um, feel free to modify the exercise as much as needed. So you're gonna clasp your hands in front of your body. And then as you inhale, you're gonna reach up overhead and then exhale as you float those arms back down. So this is stretching out the lower part of the chest wall. Um, so each stretch that we do here is designed to target a different aspect of the trunk. Inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. All right, once you get five, the next stretch we're gonna focus on is for the upper back. So hands are gonna stay clasped together, um, placed high up on your chest. From here, you're gonna inhale as you reach those arms, tucking your chin and rounding your shoulders, and then exhale as you bring them back up to the chest. And focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together as you bring the shoulders back. So inhale, reach forward, exhale, bring them back. Five reps here. All right. The next stretch is more of a chest opener, which is really important for today's society where we're always on our phones or on the computer or just have faulty posture in general. So you can do this with both arms or one arm at a time. I'll show you both variations, um, but you're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Elbows are gonna be facing forward. And then as you inhale, I want you to bring those elbows as far back as you can away from your body and then exhale, pull them back to the middle, okay? If this is too much doing both arms at one time, you can always do it one-sided. So same thing, you're gonna do five reps on each side if you're doing them separately. All right, the last stretch that we're gonna do is for the lateral or the side of the trunk. So one arm is gonna come behind your head. This time the elbow is pointing out to the side. From here, you're gonna inhale and side bend as you take your elbow up towards the ceiling and then exhale as you come back to an upright posture. If this is painful on your shoulder, you can also do it with your arm down by your side and just reach toward the floor with your opposite, opposite arm. Okay, once you get five, we'll switch sides. Inhaling as the elbow goes up, exhaling as you bring it back down. All right, good work. All right, so in contrast to dynamic stretching, which is what we just went over, stretches that involve movement, static stretching is something that I like to do at the end of a workout to kind of allow those muscles to relax and recover. Um, so all of these static stretches, we're gonna do longer hold times. That's what it what is meant by static stretching. So it's important that you maintain the stretch for at least 30 seconds. That gives the muscles enough time to realize what we're doing to them in trying to lengthen those muscles out. Um, it's also important that you don't push these stretches to the point of pain. So we definitely want you to feel feel a stretch, feel that muscle lengthening, um, but stretching should never be painful. So I always say go to the point that you can tolerate. 
So we're gonna start with some stretches for the neck. Um, the first one being for the traps. So what you're gonna do is side bend, bringing your ear towards your shoulder. Okay, we're just opening up this side of the neck um, and you wanna ease into it, okay? So I'm gonna gradually bend more and more. And it's important to continue with pursed lip breathing as you do this, that's gonna cause a lot more relaxation. If this doesn't feel like a stretch to you, you can make it a little bit more intense by adding some overpressure. So you're gonna bring one hand up to your head and I'm just pulling down ever so slightly on my head. Um, this causes a lot more pressure on those muscles, so you wanna be mindful of any pain that you may be experiencing and ease off as needed. Okay, so once you hold for 30 seconds, you're gonna ease out of that as well and do the same thing on the other side. So ear towards the shoulder and then adding some over pressure as needed. All right, once you've held for 30 seconds, the next stretch that I wanna teach you is for a very similar muscle. It's called the scalene. So it runs very close to the traps. Um, but it actually connects to the ribs. So particularly for patients with breathing problems, this stretch can be very beneficial for you. Um, so it's very similar to what I just did, except that I'm gonna hold my opposite shoulder down with, with my hand. Okay, so I'm pulling downward with this hand to stabilize the shoulder and rib. And then same thing, I'm just side bending, bringing my ear towards my shoulder. And you can vary your pressure here or not bend quite so far if it's pretty pretty tight for you there. Okay, and then the same thing, you're gonna ease out of that. Opposite side, bring that arm up, stabilizing that shoulder by pulling down and then bending the other way. Good, all right, we're gonna ease out of that. Pretend I did all of those for 30 seconds. Um, we have one more neck stretch and then we'll move on to some upper body things. Um, this last one is very similar, but it's for uh, some muscles that connect more towards the skull, um, which again is important with our, our neck posture. So the only difference is you're still gonna side bend to one side, but you're gonna rotate your nose towards your armpit. So you might wanna wear deodorant for this one, but you're gonna hold it there and same thing you can add some overpressure if you're not feeling much of a stretch here. Okay, so after 30 seconds, ease out of that. We'll do the same thing going the other way. So you're just gonna look down towards your armpit and then pull down on your head. All right, that's all the stretches for the neck. All right, so moving down from the neck, we're gonna focus a little bit more on the shoulders and the chest for our neck stretches. So this next stretch, you're gonna bring one arm out to the side and then pull it across your body, hooking at your elbow with your opposite hand. So I'm pulling back with this hand that's a fist to give myself a little bit more of a stretch. And I'm feeling this mostly in the back side of my shoulder. Okay, if you don't have much shoulder range of motion or you have some restriction there, you may even feel a stretch if your arm is out here and that's fine, that's where you hold it. Only go as far as you feel comfortable and pain-free. So similarly, purse lip breathing as we do this, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth and holding it for 30 seconds. All right, we'll drop out of that one and do the same thing on the other side, pulling that elbow across your chest and holding it for 30 seconds. All right, once you get 30 seconds, ease out of that. The next one that I wanna focus on is for the chest. I mentioned this earlier, but these muscles are, are tight in pretty much everybody. Um, so an easy way to stretch those muscles is really just by opening up both arms to the side and focusing on kind of sticking your chest out. You can also do this by clasping your hands behind your back um, and then kind of reaching towards the ground, okay? 
this does require a lot of shoulder range of motion to be able to reach those hands behind your back. So if that's too much, um, you can just open those arms out to a T and try to hold it there. At the same time, squeezing those shoulder blades together is gonna add even more of a stretch. All right, the next one that we're gonna go over is for the triceps, so the back of the arms. Um, this one, you're gonna bring your elbow up so it's pointing towards the ceiling. I'm gonna bring my opposite hand, grab hold of that elbow, and then I'm pulling my elbow behind my, my head, essentially. Um, so you're gonna hold that there for 30 seconds. And again, this stretch might not be for everybody if you do have some shoulder restrictions. All right, we'll ease out of that. Same thing on the other side. Elbow goes up and I'm pulling to the opposite side. All right, 30 seconds there, good work. All right, so there are really two different types of stretches, dynamic and static. Um, so we're gonna go over some dynamic stretching first, which is important for a warm up. So I like to do these before I start exercising just to help get the blood flow and get those muscles warmed up before I jump into either my strength training or my cardiovascular endurance training. Um, so three of my go-to dynamic stretches are high knees, butt kicks, and arm circles. Um, so we're gonna start with high knees or marching in place. Um, all that is is bringing those knees up nice and high towards the chest, okay? If you have any balance problems, um, I recommend holding on to something for support. It can be your countertop, the back of a chair. It needs to be a sturdy piece of furniture, um, but you can hold on for support if you need to with your balance. So I typically recommend doing these dynamic stretches um, anywhere from 30 seconds up to 60 seconds. So it doesn't have to be very long, um, but just enough to kind of get that heart rate up and get the blood flowing a little bit. All right, next up is butt kicks, and I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can see my profile. Similarly, we're alternating legs, but you're just bringing those heels up towards your, your bottom, essentially. Um, this is activating those hamstring muscles to get them nice and warm. So the same thing, you're gonna do 30 to 60 seconds here for the legs. All right, and then lastly, to kind of warm up the upper body is arm circles. So those arms are gonna be out to your side, and you're just gonna Bring it around in a circle. It doesn't have to be super large. Um, I like to do some forward and then some in the backwards direction. So you could do 30 seconds each way, 15 and 15, whatever combination feels comfortable to you. And that's your warm up. All right, we're gonna finish up with two lower extremity uh, stretches to wrap up our time today. Um, the first one being the hamstrings. So this is for the back of the thighs. This is commonly a muscle that cramps very easily or gets really tight. So the way that you stretch it, um, we're gonna start with one side. You're gonna step that foot forward so that your heel is touching the floor, okay? Keeping your knee completely straight, you're gonna slide your hand down towards your toes, okay? You're gonna hold it there for 30 seconds. If this is too much, you don't have to go all the way to the toe. So as far down that leg as you feel comfortable and then hold it at that point. Okay, so we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm holding onto the chair for balance, but if you don't have balance issues, you can reach down with both hands. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth as you hold it. All right, then you'll ease out of that after 30 seconds. And then the last stretch that I wanna show you today is for the calf or the lower part of the leg. So I recommend doing this with a sturdy piece of furniture or your countertop. You're gonna place your hands um, on the furniture for balance, and then you're gonna have a nice wide split stance, okay? We're stretching whichever leg is in the back. So it's important to keep that back leg completely straight and your toes pointing forward. We all have a tendency to kind of turn those toes outward, but it's really important uh, for the integrity of the stretch that you keep those toes in the straight position. All right, so with my back knee straight, I'm gonna slide my front knee towards the front or forward, okay? And I'm starting to feel it in the back of my calf here. 
So I'm gonna hold it there at whatever point I feel that tolerable stretch. And you can even sink a little bit deeper as it loosens up. Okay, we'll come out of that, switch legs, same thing, my toes are forward, my knee is straight, and then I'm bringing that front knee into kind of a lunge. So we'll hold it there. Perfect, and then, all right, so that concludes our stretching exercises for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to, to leave us a note below. Um, and if you enjoyed seeing videos like this, let us know that as well so that we can continue to get more videos out to you guys. Um, so just in conclusion, remember flexibility is such an important part of our holistic life and being healthy and well. So it improves your breathing, it improves your balance, it improves your overall quality of life. So take the time to engage in some stretching and flexibility. And just remember, keep moving, keep breathing, and we'll see you next time.